Being on a meditation retreat for 10 days, you know, can really still feel like its own, you know, psychedelic experience. It's this dismantling of your egoic structure and its patterns. And then what's left is just emotion. And then how do you integrate that into be able to release it and then really create a foundation that feels a little bit more like you and what's kind of left. Even just 10 years ago, being in college, never even heard the term transpersonal psychology. I had to do so much of my own work around mindfulness to find out what that is. It's almost like the field of psychology is not as big as the demand for the conscious awakening that is happening. So I, I feel like I'm busier than ever. We are in a climate crisis. We are in a mental health crisis. We are in an oil food crisis. You know, we, we have so, our there's just so much not working and I think that psychedelics is something that we could try and there is so much um, promise to it. Turning on the TV and John Kabat-Zinn was you know speaking uh, about mindfulness and I was like what is mindfulness? All I could do was read meditation books and, and mindfulness and I, I became obsessed. You know, my senior year, I had no interest in, you know, all the activities of my sorority anymore. And I was living in my sorority house, and so this was a really lonely time for me. A disillusionment of your old environment into, you know, a more aligned and healthier way of being. You know, I didn't have the language for that. I didn't have anyone to kind of reflect that back. It wasn't until grad school and until I met my meditation teacher, John Burney, that a lot of healing started to happen. And he really taught me the value of, you know, grounding, releasing grief. I felt so destabilized that the idea of doing any type of psychedelics was really scary to me. Around the time that I was licensed is when I started to experiment with first microdosing psilocybin. Immediately I felt such a heart opening that I only, you know, have accessed in a lot of deep states of meditation. And it felt the exact same, but it was a little bit more immediate and it was a lot more effortless <laughs> than sitting on the cushion felt really connected to consciousness and I felt a real familiarity there. I got invited through a, a number of synchronicities to a ceremony and I sat for two nights and it was just the most beautiful, amazing, validating, encouraging experience of my whole life. You know, the medicine felt so strong and I just remember telling myself, you know, just, just show me what you want to show me. And, and that's what I say in meditation every day, show, like show me what's here. So what happens when you just, you know, surrender, you know, and just keep looking and keep looking and keep looking and then, okay, the ego comes in, but what happens when you drop that and you just keep looking? I think there's just energetically, there can just be like so much there. You know, the people that I did ayahuasca with had a lot of trauma come up and, um, you know, I work with trauma all the time with clients and I've worked so much in the last 10 years of my own trauma. So I feel very, I feel very comfortable in that world. Unless there's energy work, unless there's somatic work, you know, unless that you're addressing the body, which is so much of what psychedelics do, I think that you know there there always will be a, a feeling of disconnection that can take a really, really long time. So my hope is that psychedelics can really help just transform human consciousness and the field of psychology. You know, we've known for centuries, but how can we kind of make this more uh, accessible to, I think, the, the public? Legalizing psychedelics, I think that it presents this kind of collective permission of morality, you know, in some ways. So not only for, you know, permission to have their friends and family, you know, kind of engage with these medicines maybe in a less judgmental way and take out the stigma uh, but also allow people to share more of their stories and and so people that you know may be curious about it but never would have thought about doing it at all you know when they can hear that it is you know legalized you know and really supported by you know research and our government you know may you know work with these medicines uh, that could be really beneficial